Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. For those of hey everyone, thank you for joining us. For those of you who've watched our videos, you've seen this stump and this slab in the background. I've talked about it briefly. Guess what? Today it's going into the house. We've got this one sanded down, stained and finished. And look at this right here. Isn't that a beauty? This is gonna be a breakfast bar. There's a countertop going right here. You can see this piece of wood that's nice and straight. This is gonna tie into the countertop. And this is gonna be his breakfast bar. That end is gonna be tied up to the wall wall. And this stump is gonna be the support on this end. So check out some of the detail here. I mean, we've got a, a scar here that the tree had, kind of grew around it. And here we have a root that grew around it. A lot of character. We've got wormholes, bugs and stuff that were crawling in the tree, burrowing around. Left all that detail there as much as I could. So if you've been watching us, you've seen the stumps that sit around. Today we are working on this, getting ready to install it. We gotta cut the roots down, get them down so they don't stick out quite as far. And then we're gonna be cutting it down completely flush at the bottom, getting everything so it fits. So go get stuff. Okay, so we got a lot of the roots cut off. We had to taper these down a little bit. The way it's gonna be positioned so they don't stick out past the bar. So we got these cut off. Next, we're gonna take the grinder with some really coarse sandpaper. We're gonna smooth it down and blend it in. Okay, so we're taking some chainsaw cuts. We're gonna blend this root in so it just sweeps down really nice. So for you guys wondering what I'm using, Dewalt grinder. I put a bigger battery on it. I have a disc grinder on here. Just picked up at the local hardware store. It's a hard disc. 
And then I have 24 grit sandpaper, which works really well for taking rough cuts and reshaping it. Doesn't make it very smooth, but if you're actually grinding material away, taking product down, works very well. It's very, very aggressive. Okay, so on further measurement, our breakfast bar there, the, this piece of wood here is approximately 24. And uh, we've still got a width of 40 inches right here. So we're gonna end up uh, shaving these off on both sides. We're gonna try to get that about 35, 36 inches so it doesn't stick out too far past the breakfast bar. So it's kind of hard to get a measurement if you're doing it on an angle. And you cut this at exactly 29 and a half inches because the top of the bar is going to be 34 and a half. So we got two sticks at 29 and a half, basically going around and making marks.
We're here at uh, brother-in-law Stevens Mill. We're putting it on there. The slab is about six and a half. Customer wants it at five inches, so we're gonna take a little bit off of both sides. looky there isn't that beautiful some of you folks might be wondering well why didn't you just cut it to the right height that you needed when you cut it originally well there's a reason for that the tree wasn't cured so we cut it about an inch and a half oversize this has been sitting in the shop uh, just curing for a year and usually what happens with a big piece of wood like this they'll twist and warp and whatever so that's why we cut it oversized, let it twist and warp, cure out, and then we go cut it completely, perfectly um, flat on both sides. It was it was cupped a little bit. You might not have been able to tell. So five inches is the, is the finished product. That's why we cut it oversized, let it dry, and then we cut it precise once it's dry. Okay, we're here back here at the shop. We've got a little moisture on here. Might need to wait till tomorrow to put the stain on, but we're gonna get started cleaning this up with an Osborne brush, which is a Teflon. And basically what we need to do, we need to clean up this edge where the bark was. We don't wanna sand it off just to make it look like the regular wood. We kinda of wanna keep the rustic edge. So what this brush does, it's like a mild aggression where it'll brush out all the dirt. Yet if there's wormholes or stuff like that, it, those will stay in there. So uh, yeah, this is pretty neat. It'll, it'll kind of be the rustic edge and then we'll have the, the cup on top, so. So if you take a look here, this dark stuff is not dirt. They're act it's actually minerals that are right underneath the bark. And here, we can, if you look in real close, you can see traces of wormholes as bugs and stuff were burrowing underneath. Might not be able to see it on camera, but you can see it with your eyes. Very nice. This bar top is gonna end up with like a really thick epoxy on the top and with just the finish on the bottom. When you do that, you've gotta take measures on the bottom side so that that doesn't arch. Because what happens is you seal up the top, it can't shrink. All the moisture that's leaving this is gonna go to one side. I've seen these where you cut them straight like this, you put an epoxy finish on it, a year later, they're cupped about an inch and a half down on each side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a skill saw, and we're gonna make a whole bunch of perforated cuts lengthways here. That way, if this wants to shrink, it can just crack from the bottom up. And then also, we're gonna be putting angle iron this way and lagging it in. If it does decide it still wants to go, guess what, it ain't going to work. 